my friend Kim challenged me to a build challenge. But what happens if I cheat with slash slash realistic? Lily, are you ready for this build challenge? Of course I am, Kim. Do you know what we're building today? We are gonna be building YouTubers! Yep, our favorite ones! But what side do you want to build on? The red side or the purple side? I think I'm gonna pick the red side! The red side? That's my side! Oh, fine, Louie. I'll pick the purple side because purple's better! All right, good. Well, I'm going to build my favorite YouTuber right now, and that is Cash! So let's get building! Let's go! So what I'm going to do, guys, is get some red wool because I'm going to build Cash. I need some white terracotta and some brown for his hair. So let's go ahead and build him really quick. I'll just build up a really quick version of Cash. So I need to build up his little outfit that he wears, just like this, and also his feet. Then what I need to do is build his red arms because he wears a little bodysuit. He doesn't actually wear a hoodie or anything. It's just his entire body is red. Now I need to build his head, and that is going to be out of this white terracotta, and then and I'll add his brown hair. And also, I'll add some hair around the back just like this too. And that looks pretty good. Now, all I need, guys, is to add Cash's eyes. So I'll put some white and then I'll get a button like this one. And I'll place them both here and on the mouth. And there we go. That looks just like him. But I need to give him a red hoodie. So let's go ahead and give him his red hoodie going around his head. And there we go. That should be Cash. And oh, this build is looking a little bad. But don't worry, guys. We are going to be using slash slash realistic. So let me type that in. Boom! As you guys can see, I now have a realistic version of Cash. He's wearing the same red body. And he also has the white face, the brown hair, and the red hoodie on. Just like I built down there. But now, guys, obviously, we have to turn this base into the most secure base in Minecraft. To stop Kip from getting a massive prize at the end. So we are going to go ahead and make a fake entrance that Kip will definitely get stuck in. After all, guys, if Kip gets to the end of my base, he gets all of my diamonds, which I'm going to be hiding at the end. So we definitely don't want that. What I'm going to do is set the floor to red concrete like this, and I'm going to make it look really obvious that the entrance is right here. But what Kip doesn't know is that this is going to be a fake entrance, and he is totally going to die. So I'll place a white wall on this side, and then a white wall on the other side. And in the middle, where this hallway will be, is where I'm going to add a bunch of traps to convince Kip into thinking this is the real entrance. So let's go ahead and put these walls up and let's make a fake entrance. What I'm going to do is make Kip work for it first. I'm going to make him try to get inside. So I'll put some red concrete around like this and let's get a keypad door and let's place it right in the middle. Now, hidden around the back, I'm going to add a chest that he is going to have to find a code in. So let's get a book and quill and I'll make the code for the door 1357. So let's put it in this chest and let's go to this door at the front and put the code in here. So now when you put the code 1357, it will open up and let you in and it will slow Kip down and make him think that this is the way in. So let's now add a few more traps that will make him think that this is really hard. What I'm going to do is make a small lava moat right here and it's totally going to stop him. Hopefully he won't be able to jump over all of this lava, but if he does, I'm going to make the next trap a little bit more more elite. So let's go ahead and build it. And what I'm going to do is build another moat underneath, but this won't have lava inside. This will have spikes. So let's get some of those and place them underneath just like this. Perfect. I'll go ahead and just fill up all of this area down here with a bunch of red concrete now. And this is looking even better now. But now I have this lava moat and this spike pit. But if Kip gets over here, I want to make another trap that's going to be difficult for him to get through. So I'm going to add a red wall in the middle, and I'm going to add two holes on each side of this wall. What I'm going to add under here is fake lava and a real lava. And on the left, I'll put some real lava, and on the right, I'll put some fake lava. And what fake lava does, guys, is when you go into it, it does not burn you! I can just swim through it like I'm in a hot tub! But let's make one last trap that Kip will have to get through. I'll just go ahead and break a bunch of dirt just like this, and I'll go all the way to the bottom here. 
then I'll fill in all of this space with a white concrete. And I'm going to try and convince Kip to jump down here and get stuck in here. So I need something that Kip likes a lot. And I have an idea. I'm going to get a bunch of fish because Kip is a penguin and loves it. So I'll get an item frame like this and I'll put some fish in this. So let's get his favorite type, the icicle fish, and place it right in here. Then what I'm going to do is kill him. So I'm going to get a weighted pressure plate right here and I'm going to put a dispenser on the side of it right here. And what's going to come out is a big chunk of TNT. So if Kip decides to walk onto that pressure plate, he will blow up. So there we go, guys. That is all of the traps that he will have to get through just to get into the fake entrance. Let's go ahead now and just add something to kill him in here. And what I'm going to do is get some of these diamond ore mine. And I'll just go ahead and place them everywhere. So when Kip walks into them, he will go kaboom. But it never kills him. I need to make sure that he stays right next to the diamond mines when he goes in there. So I'm going to get some obsidian and some reinforced glass. And what I'm going to do is make it so that Kip will have to climb up a staircase and jump in with the diamonds. Just like this. He's going to have to go up the staircase and then he's going to get blocked in with the diamonds. So what I'm going to do is get this block and then build all the way up with this reinforced glass and then I'm going to make a wall out of it just like this. Now all I have to do is just make a way for him to get in and then when he jumps down into here, there's no way out except for blowing up. And just to make sure he doesn't blow up out of the top of this cage, I'll just add a bunch of reinforced glass up here. And there we go, guys. This is beautiful. But guys, I wonder what Kip is up to. You know what? I think it's time to go and troll him. So I'll go all the way over here and let's break through the wall and see what he's up to. So let's break through the wall like this and wait. Is he building Nico? My Nico is looking incredible! All I need to do is some finishing touches around his butt! Wait, what? Uh, what does Kip mean by that, guys? But anyways, let's not get distracted. I have a good idea for a troll. I just need to make sure Kip does not see me. I'm going to run all the way over to his base. And Cash and Nico look kind of the same. They both wear full body suits and have the same colored face. So I have an idea. I'm going to use this command right here. And I'll replace all of the light blue with red to turn his Nico into Cash. <laughs> Uh-oh, guys. Oh, uh, Kip is on the way. Oh, I need to get down here quick. And, oh, I don't think he saw me. What the heck happened here? Why is my Nico already He looks like Cash. Oh, uh, my gosh. What is this? Guys, that was really close. Kip almost spotted me. But he didn't. And I successfully trolled his base. Now it looks just like Cash. Oh, my gosh. Now I have to do all of this by hand to turn it into blue wall. Oh, my gosh. This is gonna take forever. Guys, Kip is right. It's going to take him so long. You know what? While he's fixing all of that, I can now get on with my cash build because I don't even have to worry about Kip being able to build his base fast enough. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to make the real entrance on my cash now. So the fake entrance is over there, but the real entrance is going to be in his leg right here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and build some dirt out in this water. I don't think Kip will see this at all, but if he does, this will be the way in. And all he needs to do is go up these emerald fans. It will shoot me straight into Cash's body. Woohoo! Like that! All I need to do now, guys, is just get some slime blocks so that when I come into my Cash build, I don't break my legs. But anyways, there's so much space in here. I could totally build a lot of traps. And I think the first trap I'm going to build is a bunch of spikes. I'm going to make it so that Kip will have to climb up the leg of my Cash. And he is going to have to do it while dodging a bunch of spikes and lasers. So I'll get a bunch of spikes and place them going all the way up his leg, just like this. And now, as you can see, we have a way that you can get around here, and then you can go through the middle of these spikes and get through over here. So it's going to take Kip a long time. Either he'll have to run through the middle right here, or he'll have to go through the spikes and die. But let's go ahead and just fill up this room with a bunch of deadly spikes. We need to keep Kip out. So what I'm going to do is just remove some of these spikes on this side, and I'm just going to make it so that Kip has to go left and right a bunch to be able to get through. So, to get through this room, he'll have to go left over here and then 
all the way to this side. And then all the way to this side. It's going to take him so long. And hopefully he'll get impatient and try to run through the spikes and it will kill him. But now that I've done a bunch of spikes, let's do a bunch of lasers. So I'm going to get some blocks of redstone and some lasers and some color upgrades. And maybe also some mode upgrades. And guys, if you don't know what that does, let me show you. It makes it so these lasers look extra cool. I can literally turn this laser into a yellow laser. And you know what? I'm also going to give this laser a distance upgrade, which means the laser will go much further. So now all I have to do is just copy this laser and place it everywhere. So now we have a bunch of yellow lasers all over the place. And I can just go ahead and place a bunch of them everywhere. All over the place. So now, yellow lasers going to the left and right, and some going up and down. Let's go ahead and place some blocks of redstone in the ground and place some more deadly lasers. And now there's so many of them. Kip is going to get up here and have to squeeze through the bottom of the lasers to try not to die. But knowing him, he will definitely get really, really confused and die to the lasers like a billion times. But we'll see about that. It seems like I've made a huge laser wall. He's going to have to go straight through the middle and around the side. I'm going to make it so he gets really, really confused. Uh, but there we go. We have all of these spikes and this laser room. Now, let's go into the main cash build and actually start building. Uh, we need to build a ton of drafts, so let's get started as soon as we can. First, what I'm going to do is add some ladders so I can climb all the way up into Cash's body, which will be all the way up here, guys. And here we are. We are inside of Cash's torso now. We can build all sorts of cool traps. First, I'm going to build a find the button room. Kip is going to have to find the correct button in the room to be able to escape. And guys, Kip is terrible at finding buttons. Trust me. So I'll make the room out of iron. All I have to do is just build up some walls really, really quick. Just like this. And now he can go ahead and climb up into this room. And then he will be able to find the button, which will be somewhere hidden in here. So let's go ahead and fill this room with buttons, guys. So let's get a bunch of them and place them all over, let's say, the roof and also the floor. And he is going to have to find the right one, but it's going to take him a long time. I guarantee you guys, Kip is going to get stuck in this room 100%. There is no way he guesses what the right one is. So let's just place a bunch of buttons here and a bunch of buttons everywhere else. And guys, there's still a lot of them to place. I have to place them on the floor, the roof, the walls, and uh, you get the gist. I have to place them everywhere. So I'm going to place them up here, up here. I'm also going to place them on this wall. And then also this wall right at the back. Just to make sure that there's so many buttons that Kip gets very confused and cannot find his way out of this room. And look at that, guys. There's so many buttons in here. Comment down below if you think Kip is ever going to be able to find the exit. But speaking of exits, I need to make an exit door so that he can escape. So let's go ahead and place an iron door right here and remove the buttons around it so he cannot just press a button and escape. And now what I have to do, guys, is connect up a button around this room to the door. So I'm going to get some redstone dust and I'm going to connect it all up. All I have to do is just go outside and let's connect up this whole trap. So I'll place a redstone repeater here and then all the way around the front, I'm going to place a bunch of redstone that will connect all the way up to the door and let him through. So let's see if this works. If I press this button right here, it doesn't work. This button right here, it works. So he has to stand right here, press that button to get out. But the next area is going to be even scarier, guys. I'm going to make it so that Kip will have to do some parkour around the front of my cache. Otherwise, he is going to fall and die. So it's going to be very deadly. So I'll make it so he has to jump from here to this block and this block. It's going to be very difficult, but I'm going to also add some extra jumps to try and mess up his parkour flow. So I'm going to put some slime blocks right down here. And he is going to have to bounce from up here to this slime block and then onto this area here. This is where he will have to land. So now let's try the parkour. He's going to have to jump here, here, onto the slime block and then here. But I'm going to make him think that there's also another slime block here. So if he jumps here, I want to make it so that he falls to his death. So I'm going to get some ghost blocks just like this and place them right here. So now, if Kip jumps all the way onto this one, he'll just fall straight down and die! It's a genius parkour challenge, guys. So hopefully, he will know the right way. And he will get to this block right here. And this will be another part of the parkour. But he will have to answer some questions to get through it. It's going to be a parkour question room mix! So let's add a question right in the middle
middle right here. And the question is going to be, who is the best at parkour? And obviously, guys, you know that it's me, Louie. But if he answers himself, Kip, then he will fall to his death. I'm going to make it so there's ghost blocks here. And if he walks through the Kip door, he will fall down. But now, guys, let's keep going with the parkour. I have a good idea what to do next. I'm going to get some pistons, and I'm going to place them underneath this slime block. I'm going to make it so that Kip will have to launch himself up with these slime blocks. So let's get a block here, and let's also put a button right on here. So now it will launch you up into the air, and what Kip is going to have to do is launch himself from slime block to slime block, just like this. So he's going to have to go from here to this one, here to this one, and then also from this one all the way up here. And I think I'm going to make this one a little bit more difficult. I'm going to make one of these piston slime block jumps wrong. So if he tries to jump up, this one will be the wrong one. So if he goes in here, I'm going to make a piston and ghost block combo that doesn't even work. And you fall all the way down to your death. So hopefully Kip will fall for it. But what he will have to do is use this slime block jump to get up here. Now let's go ahead and make a difficult jump for Kip now. I'm going to make him press this button right here. And then right up here, I'm going to add another piston and slime block combo right here. And this will push Kip away. All I have to do is just make it so that he has to bounce up into the air and then bounce himself away with the slime blocks. So he will have to bounce up into the slime and then press this button while in the air. Let's see if I can do it. And oh, whoa, that is hard. You know what? I should try a different way. I need to put the piston right up at the top just to make this easier for me. And what I'm going to do is put a button right here and remove this piston. Now, as you can see, if I push this button, I can launch myself miles away. I just have to press this and then time this one right. And it will launch me over here. Now, hopefully, Kip won't be able to launch himself with this one to this glass block. And nope. So this is going to only be possible if he launches himself across with the slime. See if I can do this. I'll launch myself up, then press this button. And oh, this is really difficult. And boom, now I'm here. But this is where the next question in my parkour question room is going to be. It's going to be a really difficult question too. I'm going to put whose base is the most realistic. And guys, if you know whose base is the most realistic, then comment down below. Is it me or is it Kip? I really, really think that it's me. So if Kip goes through the Kip door, he's obviously going to die. But now, guys, for the last part of my parkour, I'm going to make it so Kip has to do a Squid Games parkour challenge with the glass bridge. So I'm going to get some glass trapdoors just like they did in Squid Games. And I'm going to go ahead and get these ghost blocks and place them on the sides. So now, as you can see, Kip will have to choose the correct glass platform to jump on. If he chooses the right one, he'll be just fine. But if he chooses the wrong one, he'll fall through and die. So let's go ahead and make a few jumps. I'm going to make a few of them. So the right way to go will be left, right, and then it will be right, and then left. So the right way is left, right, right, left. Let's go ahead and try it. Left, right, right, left. And perfect. It works. Now let's make all the rest of these into ghost blocks so that if he chooses the wrong jump, he will fall. But now, just in case I forget, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put last trap doors underneath this squid game so that I can look down and see what the correct way is. So I know it's left because there's a glass trap door underneath. And then I'm going to do the same thing for all of the jumps. For this right-hand side one, I'm going to put one. For this right-hand side one, I'll put one. And then for the one on the left right here, I'll put another one. So now, guys, if I look down, I can see the correct way is left, right, right, left. And I can complete this Squid Game parkour. But guys, I hope you don't think I was finished there because I'm going to add more. I'm going to add another question. One more to be exact. And this one is going to be, I would say, harder than the other one. This question is going to be crazy. And it's going to be, are you subscribed? And guys, if you are not subscribed to this channel, then make sure to click subscribe because it helps out a lot and it's free. And don't forget, you get to see all of my videos. But if Kip says yes, he is subscribed, he can go through. But if he says no, he isn't, then you know what's gonna happen. He's going to fall down and die. But now, guys, let's go ahead and take Kip all the way back into the cash build now. I'll take him all the way back here down this hallway, and let's get him to go in here. It will take him just above the find the button room. But this room is going to be 
be even crazier. I'm going to make him choose between two mine cards. One will take him the right way, and one will take him the wrong way, and we'll kill him. So what I'm going to do is make a purple side and a red side, and I'm going to place some blocks in the middle to split up this track. And all I have to do is just add a wall around this entire thing. So I'll just use the walls command, just like this. I'll type walls and then make them into iron blocks to make this base extra secure. So now all I have to do is just place some iron blocks right here and then make a little hole in the middle on both sides. Then I'll just put some redstone blocks and some powered rails going through both sides. And I think I'm going to make this purple side take you to a lava pit that will kill you. So I'll send Kip all the way over here and it will take him into a pool of death. So let's go ahead and get a bunch of iron and place it around in a circle. And then I'll just put a bunch of lava inside. But now on the red side, I'm going to make a staircase that goes up and you are going to go up a powered rail and it is going to take you to the correct way. So it's going to take you all the way up to the top. And this will be where everything goes down, where all of my best traps will be. So let me just make sure that Kib does not know that the red side is the right way. I'm going to add a a roof going all the way over the top just like that so now it is perfect all i need to do now is just place a chest full of mine cards and he can place one down and go through Woohoo! but here we go this is where kip will end up in the top of this room and i think what i'm going to make him do is a bunch of mob battles so up here i'm going to make a gauntlet of mobs he will have to fight so let's get some glass like this and let's separate some some rooms. So I'll make one right here. And this room will just hold a zombie inside. So I'll make sure that these rooms are color coded so that you know exactly what mob you're fighting. So I'll put some green terracotta on the side. And this is how you will know you're fighting a zombie. Just like that. This is perfect now. And in here, all I'm going to do is get an item frame and put a zombie spawn egg inside. And now you will know that there is a zombie in here. And I need to give Kip some weapons. So in here, I'm going to give him a chest and it's going to have a wooden sword inside because I'm going to make him fight the zombies with a terrible wooden sword. But next, I'm going to make him fight some skeletons and I'm going to give him a different weapon for it. So let's go ahead and put some more glass and right over here will be his next weapon to fight the skeletons. He is going to need a bow and then I'll put the bow and an arrow inside. Next, what I need to do is just build up some walls right here so he cannot get out out of this mob battle room. And then I'll get some white concrete. Oh, so you know you're fighting skeletons. So I'll place it all on the side, just like this. And then I'll fill in the floor with the iron. And now all I need is the mob egg. So I'll get an item frame and I'll get a skeleton spawn egg. Place it right in the middle, just like that. And let's also make sure we place some glass on the front right here so that Kip cannot escape until he beats the skeletons. Then what I'm going to go ahead and do is make a second floor for the mob arena because we are not done with just fighting skeletons. Let's go ahead and make him fight all sorts of deadly mobs. The next mob I'm going to have him fight is going to be way stronger. So it's going to be a blaze. So what I'm going to do is give him a chest and inside is going to be a bunch of snowballs because if you guys didn't know, blazes can die to snowballs. But now we need to make the area he will fight them in. So Let's get some orange concrete and some yellow concrete so he knows he's fighting a deadly nether enemy. Let's put some glass right here so he will have to break through. And let's put orange and yellow on the walls just like this. But now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Kip a diamond sword. And I'm going to make him go around a corner because I'm going to make him fight a really deadly mob. So let's get him to go around here. And then in the middle, I'm going to make an entire arena out of netherite blocks. And guys, do you know what mob is made of netherite? Well, if you don't know, let me show you. I'm just going to make a wall around this entire area so that the mob doesn't escape. And I'm going to spawn a netherite monstrosity. And guys, watch until the end of the video to see what this thing looks like. Let's see if Kip can defeat it. But now guys, it's time to build one more trap in my base before I go and see Kip's. So let's Go ahead and just go all the way over here and build a big room. All I have to do is just get some iron blocks just like this. And 
I just have to go ahead and go inside. Now we have a big empty room. And what I'm going to do is put my secret vault right over here. But I'm going to make it so that Kip will have to get through a room to be able to make it. It's going to be super difficult. All I'm going to do is get some lasers. And then get some redstone blocks. And I'm going to place a redstone block right here with a laser on it. Now inside of this redstone block, I'm going to put a chest. And I'm going to put some mirrors inside just like this. Now, as you can see, we have mirrors in this chest. And you can use them to reflect the laser. But what I'm going to do with that laser is make it so that next to this door, I have a laser catcher. And what's going to happen is I can reflect the laser around and in so that I can walk through the door. All I have to do now, though, guys, is place a lot of blocks of iron so that when Kip reflects the laser, he will have to reflect it a lot more in a lot of different directions to be able to get it into that laser catcher. It's going to be very difficult. But just in case I have an idea, what I'm going to do is give myself a command block and inside of it, I'm going to write a command to kill Kip. And if a laser goes into this laser catcher, it will kill him. So he has to be careful and place a mirror in front of this catcher before he goes ahead and turns all of these lasers around just so he won't die. So there we go, guys. I think this is going to be perfect. There is no way that Kip manages to get through this room. But if he does, that is where the end of my base is going to be. I'm going to put a huge vault full of diamonds right at the end. So let's get some iron blocks. Let's make this room super secure. I'm going to use iron iron blocks, and also bedrock, just like that. Now, when I'm finished with this room, I can go into here, and I can find a huge pile of diamonds that I will have at the end of my base, right over here. It's going to be awesome, and I'm just telling you now, guys, I have so many diamonds in Minecraft that I might as well be a millionaire in real life. So, there we go. This is looking very, very nice. We have all of these diamonds, but what else do I want to put in side of my secret vault. Wait, I know! I'll put my secret diary! And I'm going to write a really cool secret in here. But I'm not going to tell you guys just yet. You are going to have to wait until Kip gets to the end of my base to find out my secret! And guys, when you find it out, comment it down below. Alright guys, but now that I'm finished putting my secret diary in this chest, let's go ahead and see what Kip is up to! And I'll see if I can get through his base. Oh, Kip! Are you ready? Ready? I am so ready. Are you ready? Oh, of course I am, buddy. So, um, do I have to break into your base and steal your diamonds? Um, of course, Louie, but there's no way you'll be able to break in because look how big my base is! Oh, come on, buddy. And wait, is this supposed to be Nico? Where's his face? Uh, what do you mean, where's his face? His eyes are right there. Um, I, I don't see his eyes. They're invisible. They're not invisible. He just has very small eyes. Uh-huh. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to try and get into your base now, and I'm going to steal all of your diamonds. Well, good luck, Louie, because you're going to need it. This is literally an impossible base to break into. All right. Well, what's going on here? There's a ramp right here and a fan that blows me away in this direction. But wait, I can just walk around it. Is this supposed to stop me? Well, it's supposed to be an inconvenience. Let's see if you can break in, Louie. I don't think you can. All right, well, I'll just jump over here. And then I'm assuming these are ghost blocks. And oh, oh no, oh no, fake water. Whoa, what's going on? Um, Louie, you totally did this incorrectly, but I guess you're up here now. So let's see if you can beat my base. All right, well, I'll just bounce over this fan onto here. And uh, where am I supposed to go from here? There's a bunch of arrows on the floor, though. Well, there's a bunch of arrows. So let's see if you can find out where to go. Oh. And I doubt you can because you're so dumb. I'm not dumb. Wait a second. Let me see here. These arrows face this way. So there must be a ghost block. There's nothing no, here. Louis, there's no ghost block there. But maybe you need to look at some of the other arrows. There may be something there. All right. Well, let me take a look. I see an arrow over here, which must mean there's a ghost block here somewhere. Or maybe something on the floor that I'm missing. But I don't see anything. Oh, Louie, you are so dumb. There's no way you're going to beat my base with the brain you have right now, so I think I'm relaxing. My diamonds are gonna be super safe! 
Oh, my brain is just fine. I just need to figure out what you're trying to do. And wait a second. Why is this full of hands? Well, this is a new trap. And I want to see if you can beat it because this is a brand new trap that I thought of. A new trap, eh? Well, I think I have a good idea on what it could be. Maybe I need to put the fans right here and go up. Let's go, Louise. You did it. I had a feeling I'm super smart that way. Well, well done, but now you're on to my next course, which is a parkour course. A parkour? Why should I do that when I can just put a fan down and fly up and ow? Um, Louie, that's not happening. Give me your fans now. Give me them all. Oh, fine, take them. I don't even need them anyways. And I'm going to throw them in the lava so that nobody can use them. And now continue with the parkour. All right, well, I guess I'll go left first. Let's just jump here, 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 and wait, wait. What? what? That was a jump! That was a block on top of me! Um, Louie, you suck! There is no blocks here! It's a ghost block! Wait, then how did I die? That is completely impossible! Um, no, you just suck at parkour, Louie. Just oh. try and jump and you'll see that it is possible! This is a ghost block. Ha ha ha. Alright, well, I'll believe you and... Oh, yeah! I made it! Uh, now you're on to my next part of the course, which is my awesome extravaganza bonanza parkour question! That is a lot of big words. Are you sure I'm going to understand this? Of course you are, but let's see if you can answer the questions correctly. And they are super difficult! All right, well, let's see uh, this first question. Question one, who is better, Cash or Nico? Well, clearly Cash is better. So I'm going for the Cash one. And wait, what? I'm dead! Louie, you're in a Nico belt. Do you seriously think I would have picked Cash? Oh, I guess you're right. All right, let me just do this parkour again. And I am up. Yeah, Louie, you suck at my build. I doubt you'll be able to get through it all because you literally suck. Oh, well, I'll just jump over here and I'm breaking your sign. Louie, what are you doing? I'm doing what I want to do because I'm in your base and you have to treat me like a guest. Anyways, how do oh I get up gosh. here? Oh, my gosh. Wait, what? What? What just happened there? Well, Louie, it looks like you have to redo the parkour. Oh! Oh, that first question was so annoying. All right, I'll just jump here, do the Nico one, and then where do I go? Oh, through the wall to here and ow! Louie, you suck at this parkour. There's no way you're this bad. The floor was literally ghost blocks. Uh, how was I supposed to know that? Well, because this is a parkour course. <laughs> I'm not going to let you just, well, walk over and go all the way up. Oh. Right. Well, let's see. Question two. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Who is subscribed? Yes or no? Wait. Wait, so I have to say if yes or no is subscribed? Wait, what does that even mean? Oh my gosh, I read it wrong. It's supposed to be, are you subscribed? Oh, well, clearly I am subscribed because I run this channel. Let's go! And if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe Yeesh. in the next three seconds. And I'm going to count down. You guys better subscribe. Three, two, one. Subscribe! Oh my gosh! The subscribes are going sky high! But let's continue with this course because you're definitely not getting past it. All right, well, I'll just jump up these blocks and question three. Did you shower today? Well, I don't know about you, kid, but I did. Ow, 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 ow. Louie, you got it wrong. You definitely did not shower. I'm smelling you right now. You smell awful. Oh, whatever. You know what? I'm jumping in the lava because I will respawn all the way up here. All right, Louie, now you have to answer correctly. Oh, and thank you. Thank you for being truthful this time. Well, I guess I didn't shower today, but let's go through this ghost block wall. And I'm going up! Let's go! And now you have to race me. And I'm taking the first no, one. No, Give no, me the no. first I'm one! I'm taking this one. I'm taking Give this one. It. Thank you! Oh my gosh, Louie, you totally just suck it. But I'm gonna beat you! Let's go! I don't know about that. These golf carts are really hard to turn. Let me just turn, 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 turn. Wait, what? I fell! You suck, Louie! I'm already at the bedroom, and I got the diamond! Let's oh, go! Oh, you didn't even drive your car to the end! Um, yes, I did. The end is right here, Louie. Um, you had to drive your car up the ladders, actually, to win. Thank you very much. I'm the winner! Oh, my gosh. I guess you win, Louie, and that means you got all of my diamonds. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it. I'll be taking these and using them to make diamond armor. Louie, I don't think you will because you need a get Wait, what? Oh! Get out of here! Oh, I 
I'm dead. Oh, Kip, you killed me. But it's time for you to go through my base, which is right there if you want to take a look. What is this? How did you build so much? We both had the same exact time. Well, I go to building school, so technically I can build way faster. Oh, my gosh. But, um, wait, wait, wait. What is this right here? Uh, Why is it a smaller version of cash? Oh, well, uh, this was just my preference. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Louie. Well, let's go inside your base. And I'm totally gonna get into it. Phew, guys, that was really close. Oh, Kip almost found out that I use slash slash realistic. Hopefully he doesn't find out or the video ends. All right, let's see if you can get in there now, Kip. Louie, what were you just talking about? But I don't care. I'm gonna get to your base. Alright, well, let's see if you can do it. And oh no, you already found the chest! Louie, did you even try with this? The chest is in plain sight. You're such an idiot. It looks like the code is 1357. So let's just put the code in 1357. Boom! And I'm already in your base. You suck at this, Louie. Let's go! Well, you made it through that door, but can you make it through my secure hallway? Um, of course I can, Louie. Look how insecure this is. Look at this! Let's go! And, oh, this looks pretty dangerous. How am I supposed to do this? Well, buddy, you have to choose the correct side. Either you have to go through the real lava or the fake lava. Well, Louie, watch this. Let's go! And oh, my um, God, it's fake! It's a real lava! Tell me this one! Oh, my God! I almost died, Louie. Yep, you completely chose the wrong one, but I'm so shocked you didn't die. But anyways, Kip, your favorite food is down there if you want to uh, go get it. <laughs> Yep, and oh, 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 wait, what? Louie, I'm a penguin. When I get this, I'm invincible. You literally just got exploded out of that hole and into my base. What? Let's go. I guess you beat me. Go ahead. Go claim your diamond prize. Well, thank you very much, Louie. Let's go. And oh boom, God, boom, it's boom, it's boom, 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 and how are you not dead? Let's go, Louie! And this is another one of your fake entrances, so I'm getting out of here! All right, get out! And, uh, Louie, what is this? Well, this is the real way in. You just have to go up these fans and go into my base. Let's go! And, oh my gosh, that looks super deadly! But I know a way around it. Just go up here wait, like wait, this. Nope, and nope, 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 nope. You're not allowed to cheat. What you're not allowed to no? cheat. Not allowed to cheat. Nope, nope, nope. I'm putting spikes uh, up here so you don't cheat. Louie, that isn't cheating. You made it like this. Nope, I'm putting more spikes. I'm not letting you cheat this base. You have to go the right way. Oh, my gosh. Fine. I'll go the right way then. And this is still super easy. All right. Well, you run through all those spikes and get really low. But eventually, you should die. Oh, my gosh. This is super dumb. Louie, how am I supposed to get through this? Oh, I'm supposed to go down here and boom! Let's go! How did you make it under all of that? That was supposed to take you ages. Uh, well, that's because I'm a professional, but... Louie, what is this? Uh, I completely forgot that this is wrong. Okay, go ahead. Try and climb it now. Thank you very much, Louie. Let's go! All right, but you'll never get through my next room. Welcome to the Find the Button Room. Oh, my gosh. Do you want me to try and find the button out of these thousands of buttons? Yep, there's way too many buttons in here, and I guarantee you won't find the right one. Well, watch this, Louie. I'm just going to click this one right here. And oh, my gosh, that wasn't it. How about this one? This one, this nope, one, this nope, one, this nope, one, this nope, one. Nope, 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 Good luck. You're going to spend ages in this room. Louie, I'm not going to spend ages. I'm going to find it instantly. Watch no. this. You are going to spend forever. And uh-oh. Oh, oh um, no. Oh Louis no. I already found it. There we go. No. You're not supposed to do that. I go. Oh, my God. I keep forgetting it. Um, you have to go in the door. Stop slamming your face into it. And, Louis, I made it. Let's go. All right. Well, Kip, you may have made it. But can you make it past my parkour room? Um, of course I can. What's up, Louie? No, no, no. You're cheating. You're cheating. You're using red blocks. Louie, are you kidding? Yep, I did it because you were cheating. You have to do this legit. Okay, well then I won't cheat this time. Let's go! All right, well, go ahead. Jump on the slime blocks and... Oh, hey! Stop cheating! You said jump on the slime blocks and I jumped on the slime blocks! 
Yep, Yikes. that's it. I'm clearing your inventory. No more blocks for you. Oh, and I lost my fish. This is so sad. All right, but answer this question. This is literally a parkour question room. Okay, who is the best at parkour? Louie or Kip? Louie, you think I'm stupid? You think just because it's your base, I don't know that you put the answer as you. So I'm going to change the answer to Kip and this one as Louie. Wait, and what? I'm just going to walk through here. Because I well, whatever, Kim. Just jump on that slime block and let's get moving. Just go all the way up to the top and try not to fall. Wow, this is super deadly. Oh, my gosh. Yep, and come on. Wait, what? You, you, don't you want to try and jump on that one? And ah, uh -huh. <laughs> you fell through it. Louie, are you kidding me? That was super not cool. But I'm totally going to beat it now. Let's go. Yep, now you have to redo the whole thing. And you are going to have to press that button. And then this button. Oh, my gosh. Louis, this is super difficult. Yeah, I can tell. You keep falling and dying. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. Louis, I'm not doing all of that. What's this? Oh, Kip, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just going all the way up here, but where am I supposed to go now? Well, you have to launch yourself up and then press this button right here. Are you kidding me? That is super difficult. But oh, my gosh. Let me try this and boom. No. Nope. Wait. Bye. Are you serious right now? I don't think that's possible. Of course it's possible, Kip. You just have to see it to believe it. Oh, watch this. I'm going to see it to believe it. Let's go. And all right, all right. I was just trolling. Go ahead. All right, let me try it out. Let's go. And then, oh, my gosh. Let's go. Um, I keep missing it. Oh, and, and let's go. Boom. You made it. I did it, but what is this? Whose base is the most realistic, Louie or Kip? Um, Louie, is this a trick question? Um, uh, no, it's clearly my base. I mean, have you seen it? It's insane. Are you serious right now? Mine's so realistic. It's mine and oh, my gosh. Bye, Kip. Ha, ha, ha. Are you serious right now? Are you saying that your base is more realistic than mine, Nico? Oh, well, clearly it is. I mean, have you seen it from the front? It's super realistic. It looks terrible. All right. Well, whatever you say, Kit. But now you have to do a Squid Games Parkour Challenge. And, Louie, you made this super duper easy because, oh, well, I just picked that one up by accident. Wait, what? But you made this super easy. Hey, you're not allowed to pick up the ghost block. And, uh, I accidentally did it. But, look, the ghost block. I can't flicker, so this is gonna be super easy. What? Just watch this and boom. Oh. I made it all the way through. Guys, this is super bad. You figured out that the ghost blocks were the ones that you couldn't close, and the real ones were the ones you could. Oh, well, I didn't expect that from you, Kip. But, anyways, go ahead and get through this next question. And this says, Are you subscribed? Well, obviously, I'm subscribed. So let's go through, yes, and yay. I got it right, Louie. All right. Well, good job, kid. But come on. You have to do some more parkour. And now you have to choose the correct side to go through with the minecart. And watch this, Louie. I'm going to get this correct the first try. Itty, bitty, bitty, bop, pick a color on his toe. It is not you. I'm going purple because purple what? is the best. Are you sure? All right. Uh, I'll give of you course a it is. push. And oh, Are you no. serious? Yeah, I am dying. Sorry, Get me Kip. out of here. Get me out of here. And Louie, I'm back. I'm back at the other side. All right. Well, maybe you should go through the other side. Because clearly red is the right way. Oh, my gosh. No, it's not. Purple is the best. But let's go. All right. There you go. And boom. Now you have to complete my mob battle room. Okay. Well, let me try and beat it. Let's go. Hey, Kip. No, you're not allowed to cheat. So I'm going to push you in there. And now you have to fight a bunch of zombies. Oh, my God. And you want to give me a one on sword? I'm going to die, Louie. Yes. Louie, are you kidding me? Take that, Kip. You totally just died. And now you have to go in again and fight them. No, wait. This is literally impossible. Are you serious right now? It's not impossible. I keep dying. I'm pretty sure it's impossible. But watch this. I know a way to beat them. I'm what? just going to be outside and slap them. And oh, look at this. I'm winning. You're totally cheating. Nope, nope, nope. Get in there. Get in there. All right, fine. I'll go in there. I'll go in there. Die! Oh die, what? Die, you die, got die, a bow die, and die, arrow? Yep, yeah, I took it from the extra chest. So I'm going to kill them. 
him? Oh, no way. You're totally cheating. We're using a bow and arrow from the next room. Kill the zombies. Um, I'm not cheating, Louie. This was in the base. I can use this, and I still keep dying. So it isn't even fair. Yeah, maybe you should just stand up there and shoot the zombies because you're clearly too bad at fighting mobs. Um, what do you mean, Louie? I'm literally a professional. Uh -huh. They are all dead. Look at that. And one more, and I'm gonna kill him. No. And boom, he's basically dead. Oh, well, good job, kid. But you already have your next weapon. And it's time for you to fight a skeleton army. Get in there. Oh, my God, Slewin. Why did you spot a bunch of skeletons? Oh, come on. Skeletons are not that bad. You can easily kill them. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. This is pretty easy. It was way easier than the zombie one. I did die. What? But why are you spotting more? Slewin, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'm not spawning more. I don't know what you're talking about. Zoe, you definitely spawned more. You think I'm an idiot? Uh, no. I think you're actually really smart. And that's why you are dying a lot of times. Because you have more brain than actual strength. Are you kidding me? Well, look at this. I'm gonna kill them all by using this secret method of breaking the glass, which is super duper smart. And watch this. Ah! I killed them all. All right. Well, you killed those little skeletons, but whatever. I'm not going to kill the next mob. Let me just add a quick roof over the top right here, and let's spawn it in. Louie, are you serious? You gave me snowballs to kill this mob? Yep, because you have to kill a bunch of blazes. Oh, my God! I'm gonna throw the snowballs at them! And I'll, I'm dead. Oh, well, try not to die, Kim. You have to kill them. And watch out. They're trying to get out. Well, obviously, I don't want to die. But if they're killing me, I'm going to die. And, oh, my God. They're super powerful. Yep, you have to be very careful. I'm going to use the bow instead. It's the snowball suck. And look at this. I'm totally killing them now. Because those snowballs sucked. But, oh. these, but this bow and arrow did really good. And I'm on to the next room. All right. Well, good job. Get your diamond sword. Because next, you are going to have to fight the strongest mob in Minecraft. The netherite monstrosity. Oh, my God. He just killed me in one shot. Are you serious? Yeah, maybe you should just try a little harder, Kip. It's so easy to kill it. Yeah, I'm gonna try a little harder. I'm gonna try really hard. And... No, 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 no. You have to fight that thing. You are not allowed out without killing it. Okay, well then I'll fight it from up here because I am not trying to kill that guy from down there. He will kill me in one shot. Oh, Kip, it looks like he wants to give you a kiss. Uh, maybe uh, you should well, go give him a I kiss. Can... Oh, I don't want to kiss him, Louie. Oh my god, you just got me killed, you idiot! Oops! I know I can't get back up there because of the lava! This is gonna be impossible! It's literally the most dangerous boss fight in Minecraft! Yeah, I'm all the way back here trying to kill him because he's so massive! But it looks like I'm doing a ton of damage! Oh. And there's no way he'll be able to beat me! Kip, Why you're going to die! Me? Watch out! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, he literally just sniped you with lava. I'm gonna kill him! Let's go! Oh, Look no, at this, I'm doing not. so much damage! But he's still super duper strong and oh my god. This is impossible! Oh, come on, Kip, it's not that hard. Just hit him a few times and you'll win! I think I killed him! Let's go! All right, well, good job. You made it through my little mob battle room. But now, let me teleport you up here to my next room. And uh, well, what is this? Well, Kip, this is a laser reflecting room. You have to reflect this laser in here, around the room, and try not to die. Oh, my God. This is gonna be super hard, but I have a way around this, Louie. If I just already put mirrors down where I'm gonna die, I can avoid it. Wait, what? How did you know the forbidden strategy? I'm super smart, Louie! But let me just put all these mirrors down and hope I don't die. Who's it, Louie? Did you just hit me? Uh, no. I think you did, but let me just put this down here and then put this right here. And oh my god. This is super difficult to place down. Are you serious right now? You, I just died. You ran into the laser, Kip. No wonder you died. Oh my god, I can't believe I died. But now I just need to put... Oh, I put my head down because I've died eight times in this room. But let me just place this down here and then place this down here. And Oh, I did it, Louie. Right. I'm at your diamonds! Well, good job, Kip. You managed to get through, and here is my <laughs> secret diary. So go ahead and tell the viewers what it says. It says, I haven't showered for a month. What is this, Louie? This is disgusting. I'm out of here. What? It's my Keep secret. Come back. Nope, I'm killing myself. Screw this. 
But anyways, Kip, we have gone through both of our bases. Your Nico and my cash. But whose is the best? Um, Louie, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Yours is way more better than mine. Wait. So I'm gonna have to give the win to you. Wait, no way. So does that mean I win this build challenge? Yes, Louie. I'm so sad. I can't believe you won. Let's <laughs> go. Guys, I totally just beat Kip in a build challenge. And I did it all with slash slash realistic. Wait, Louie, did you cheat? Uh, no. Uh, gotta go. Oh, but anyway. Oh, but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like this one, then like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Get it!